Hello, welcome to your December end of the year readings. This video will be split into two parts, a reflection and a forecast. The first part will be a reflection of 2016 and how it has impacted you as a whole. And the second part will be focusing on what is ahead for the month of December. Reflection is an important part of our lives because even in tarot, hindsight is always 2020. Actually, drawing a card in the morning and seeing how it played out by the end of the day can show how the card was relevant, but may have expressed itself in a different way than you had anticipated, which is a great tool, by the way, for learning tarot prediction and getting familiar with how many ways a single card can be read. Anyway, uh, 2016 was the year of the Yang Fire Monkey, and I have my little friend here who visually represents that energy. Yang energy is masculine, it's outwardly extroverted, it's dynamic and bold. Fire energy is passionate and enterprising. So Yang Fire is like the heat of the sun. It has lots of energy and it radiates to other people in uh, forms of optimism, generosity, and warmth. Its popularity may have been a year for big personalities and or big egos to shine. So this year we would have seen things politically and socially to reflect this. And it would also have drawn out these uh, characteristics in our personal lives as well. Monkey energy acts similarly to Yang Fire. It is quick, clever, social, busy, cheerful, and playful, impulsive, and again, it's independent. I really wouldn't be surprised if many of you watching had taken up several new hobbies, uh, several new studies, joined multiple social groups, made many new acquaintances, expanded your business in some way, broadened your talents and interests, or possibly moved because Yang Fire Monkey doesn't sit still for long. And just like the monkey, you could have been bouncing around from one thing to the next with both of your hands in many pots at once. So for the moments of reflection reading, I am going to ask, what is the biggest lesson for you? What was the highlight? What was the biggest challenge? And how did you grow this year? And then finally, I'm going to ask, what lesson will you take with you into 2017? Hello, Gemini. For your 2016 reflection reading, I will be drawing cards from the Archangel Power Tarot deck. And I will be focusing in on what is your biggest lesson? which will show me the theme for 2016. What was the brightest highlight for you? What was the biggest challenge for you? How did you grow? And what lesson will you take with you into 2017? And that will be the shadow card. So, Gemini. So your biggest lesson was the Seven of Swords. Okay. So what I'm getting or what I'm hearing is looking at the truth, being fully honest, avoiding deceptive people, not being deceptive to yourself, but being honest to, and truthful to yourself and therefore attracting honest associations. Okay. And it's also about, I feel like your biggest lesson was um, reviewing something, going back and reviewing. Okay. Making sure that you had all the facts, bef all of your facts straight before you moved forward. Okay. But I'm really just getting this sense of like truthfulness. Okay, truthfulness with yourself and other people. So the card says, there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all of the details. Okay, so pretty much 
the Seven of Swords is about deception. It's about, um, could be lies, deceit, cheating. It's cheating. It's thievery. Okay. If this was your biggest lesson, it was to, um, avoid attracting these type of people into your life. So that's why I'm getting that like honest associations, being fully truthful and fully honest with yourself. And, um, yeah, the last one to me here, the last message, um, reviewing all the details, making sure you have all of your facts before you draw the conclusion, okay? Being thorough in the way that you're thinking or some, of something or researching something, being thorough in your research in order to, um, and it's also about choices because just in the picture, I see this like this person standing here and he's like can go down this direction the dark way or he can go this direction where it looks like light and sunny both have their merits this looks like there are some tough learning lessons on this side um the hardest lessons lead for the highest growth and this way which looks bright and sunny is like the easy path okay um and it may be the most virtuous, but there are not as many lessons to learn. And sometimes we have multiple choices. It's not just you come to a fork in the road and that's it. You either take this one or that one. At different times in your life, you may have taken this way, you may have taken that way. So it just is about really choices about taking the high road and also, yeah, your associations as well. So that was the biggest lesson for you. The brightest highlight was the four of pentacles okay so whenever I see the four of pentacles this is about um keeping keeping what is yours to yourself okay um <laughs> it goes nicely along with this card okay so if there's someone trying to take advantage of you you're not letting them Okay, you're holding, you're, you're sticking your ground, you're staying your ground, you're standing your ground, okay? And um, you are fully rooted and planted in your convictions, okay? And, you know, I feel as though you're, there's a sense of pride of being able to handle things on your own with this, Um and manage things because this is also a card about managing your resources as well. So that was the brightest highlight is being able to manage the things around you, manage the people around you, okay? Getting things compartmentalized and in order, okay? And reviewing all of the facts and not losing anything, not losing out on anything. You have it all contained, okay? So this card says, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. So I feel like this year, the highlight, um, you were not spending uh, more than you needed to, which was very wise. I see like prudent decisions. And also it's about, you know, giving and receiving. So some of you may have received a very special gift this year. The challenge I see is the six of cups okay so this is the past okay and that's maybe what's pulling you what had been pulling you this lesson was to lose excuse me lose leave behind past uh affiliations with people who are no longer serving you leave behind patterns bad habits uh, things that you've just kind of gotten used to, certain choices that you um, no longer were making a conscious choice, but you were just doing it by habit, okay? Uh, so that was the biggest challenge was leaving behind like past habits, past people, past things, okay? Moving forward to a more positive direction and really standing your ground and maintaining your boundaries, I feel, was a very is successful for you, Um yeah, not giving away more than you get. That was that was really a, a, a good learning lesson for you this year. Okay, so it also says embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. 
Okay, so those are some of the more specifics of this card, but generally it just means the past, okay? So um, that was your biggest challenge this year. How did you grow? Okay, you have another four. So I'm seeing two air cards, two air signs, um, which could be challenges or difficulties that you have overcome, which um, you can be proud of that. I see the um, four of pentacles. Um, so you have an earth card and a water card, and then you have another air card. But you have the two here, the two fours, which is about stability in the way that you're thinking and your resources, the way that you're thinking about your resources, okay? So their fours are a general stability because there are four walls to the home that support the structure, okay? Support is a big key theme. The people around you, are they supporting you? Or are they taking away from your time, your energy, your efforts, that sort of thing. So this is how you grew, okay? So I think it's stability in your mindset, in your choices, and how you're thinking, and having some sort of regularity in that, where you're not sort of, you know, bouncing around all over the place. Um, and also this is, okay, this is a card about you know, quiet time, meditation, um, you know, healing the thoughts, healing the mind, the, the monkey mind. <laughs> we talk, we did talk about this year being a yang fire monkey bouncing around from place to place like a crazy wild monkey. So this is how you grew is that you had some, some stability, you had some peace. Um, you were able to find peace among the chaos. Okay, and you were able to rest when you needed rest and you honored yourself in doing that. So it says insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Okay, so really you, I feel like you let yourself off the hook from past patterns of people or things that were stressful or wearing you down. It's like you have moved beyond that. Okay, and there's a sense of pride that you have from from accomplishing this and and stability okay so what lesson you will bring with you into 2017 i have the page of or excuse me the knight of wands okay uh the knight of wands is about um what i'm getting why well, i know what the the main things are okay the card of sagittarius it's mutable fire it's travel things like that but what i'm what i'm getting is not knowing when to say goodbye because this is a card of coming and going okay so knowing um when your time is up with a per person a place a situation and saying okay i'm out i've i've done what i need to do here i'm moving on to the next thing okay this is also has to do with like confidence in yourself but i'm hearing just like a general sense of timing a better sense of timing um that's what you're going to be taking with you in 2017 so the card says time to take action great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do Okay, so you're following your instincts, and that's what you're going to be taking in with you into 2016. I'm going to put these just back and move on to the next deck. So this is going to be for your December monthly intuitive reading. So by selecting cards uh, from the Wheel of Change Tarot, it will show me what some of your themes are for December. And then also I'm going to pull a just a simple message card that you can meditate on from the Lover's Oracle deck. So show me the card for Gemini the cards for Gemini for December. Okay. Okay. So the center card is your center focus. It's the theme. It's um, really what December is all going to be about. And I see that you have a major arcana here, which is the chariot. 
This is about personal willpower, personal success, and moving forward, being determined to accomplish your goals, and actually keeping your eye on the prize, not being deterred by distractions in December, okay? The chariot is also... Um, you know, it's the car, okay, so you could be traveling, it's also representative of cancer, which represents the home, so you could be going home for the holidays, um, there are different layers to this card, um, but the chariot to me is just all about personal success, making things happen, okay, and uh, yeah, you are in control, you have you have control in December and I was seeing that with 2016 sort of those themes of the two fours of stability but there is a general sense of stability and control that you have um, over your own destiny um, over your own choices over your own thoughts um, and you're not giving your power away so the foundation is really you're setting into you're stepping into like a whole new set of unique circumstances okay stepping into the unknown there's like this vortex that you're going into which i see as representative of like the new year the new cycle the big grand cycle here of 2017 so you're stepping into it um and <laughs> into it into it intuitive intuitively so you're taking action based upon your intuition. That's the foundation. Okay. So the past. Yeah. Okay. So the past is the five of cups, disappointments, um, grievances, people letting you down. This is a card of not getting what you had hoped or fulfilled in all of your um, I think since it's a cups, to me it's about, you know, relationships friendships, things like that. Um, you have a lot of cups in your reading, but the five is like, okay, moving beyond that and um, really getting a new fresh start. Okay. So this is, this is good that this is in, in your past. Okay. Um, you've sort of buried some situations or buried some people or buried some way of thinking that was not meant to continue along with you on your journey for success here moving forward okay okay so your thoughts are the knight of wands this is the same card that i pulled for you and what you're going to be taking in with you for 2017 with the past archangel power tarot cards the knight of wands is about adventure spirituality okay i'm really getting that sense of like a higher power your thoughts are on a higher power and that's what gives you the strength is knowing that you don't have to be in control of every single little thing you can have control of the things you can control but the things that you can't control you give up to a higher power and that's where your success and peace of mind is really lying with you okay and I see you giving something into the fire it's like you're giving something away into the fire you're letting it go fully letting it go, not holding on to any attachments. You're not ruminating about things that didn't work out for you. You're letting it go. This is going to be very freeing. There's like a storm here. So it's very intense cleansing energy, cleansing of the mind. And it has to do with your beliefs. Okay. So here we have another cup card. So this is perfect. This is a good future oriented card for December. The nine of cups is about hopes, wishes. It's the traditional wish card. So whatever it is that you want to come true, you can manifest at this time. Okay. You can have your wish. Okay. And whatever that may be, I feel like there's a sea of opportunity here for you to draw from. Okay. Uh, again, since it's a cup, it's in your relationship. You could get the, um, you know, the relationship that you have been wanting for some time. You could get an aspect of maybe a new friend coming in that is just joyful celebration, that sort of thing. But I see you being very content, whatever this is that's coming in the new future. I couldn't ask for a better card. You have the past and the future, very different emotional cup energies. 
um, and you're moving on completely into something that gives you more happiness, okay? And strength. Again, I was saying with the chariot, this is about strength and willpower. This is about strength and personal power as well and being positive. And um, yeah, this is also a card of Leo, okay? The sun, which is about popularity. Um, I really feel like you're being authentic, to your true self. That's what I'm hearing because she's not, you know, wearing any any clothing here. She is authentic. There's no pretense. You've stripped away the layers of pretense that, you know, were maybe to please other people in the past. You're being more genuine, more authentic to you and it feels freeing and it feels good. So, Gemini, I'm going to pull a card for you. It's a simple and profound message on love at the end of the year. It's this one. It says, sometimes the heart sees what the eye cannot Okay, so this is the image here. What I was getting with this stripping away the pretenses, getting down to the core of being authentic on who you are and seeing that in other people too. This is not about beauty being skin deep, but you're really seeing the self-worth that people have underneath all that, you know, whatever it is that they put on for to adorn themselves or whatever, okay? Um ideas are beautiful character is beautiful makeup clothing all of that stuff beauty is is really yeah it's in the eye of the beholder but here it's like you're seeing the core the genuine value that people have or this person has in your life okay it's an it's like a new deeper layer that you're that's now you're now seeing so what may have started off as attraction just based upon surface beauty surface things like that you're now seeing that there's more depth than that and uh, that's a really beautiful thing because everyone wants to be appreciated for who they truly are on the inside okay Gemini so I want to wish you a Happy Solstice, a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I'm wishing you the best for the month ahead of December and the year to follow. Thank you so much for watching.